Hi, Lady Esther here. My channel is about beauty, skincare, and deep thoughts. Today I'm going to show you my 2020 lucky bag from Beautylish.com. If you're interested in this today, please stick around. So I first heard about the lucky bag of leaf from Michelle Wong, and I think I saw hers for 2019. So I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't think of us getting 2020, but it's a really special year, and I'm so glad that I got the tw my first lucky bag is going to be 2020. So now I don't know if I'll get this every year. Basically, a lucky bag is either it comes in small or large, and small is $75. I think large is $150, but small at you pay $75, but you get $150 worth of product. So they do this once a year. And this is for the Chinese New Year, which I believe is January 25th, next Saturday. So, okay, wait, let me get to what basic products I'm wearing today. I am wearing a turtleneck, but it's a different color. It's very subtle. It's like a brown, dark brown. Um, I'm wearing the Westman Atelier Foundation in Atelier Number no. 2 stick foundation. I'm wearing the Baby Cheeks Blush in Couchette on my cheeks. I'm wearing the Natural Glossy um, Mascara from Clinique in Jet Brown. And you know, on my eye eyelids, I'm wearing Chanel Liquid Eyeshadow 26 Rose Quartz from their Spring Summer Collection, if you're interested in that. And then on my lips, I use the um, Lip Balm Dior Lip Glow in 00 Pink. But I topped it off with Sephora Perfect Nude 01 Lip Gloss. So that's it. So that's that details. And I'm sure, I don't know, I think you guys are interested in, in this. Right? Or you wouldn't be watching. I just got thirsty. So let me see if I can show you this here is my lucky bag. Let me show you. It's okay. I'm not going to show you because that's going to show you my address. I can't show you. This is from Beautylish. And then when you open up the box, it has this really nice packaging. And this is for the Chinese New Year. Look at how pretty that is. I don't almost don't want to open it. It has this really nice um, tag and it looks like, I don't know if it's a crane, some type of bird. Um, so I'm going to have to open this. Oh, it says something on, on the back. Lucky bags are a Japanese New Year custom that inspired us to create our own. The crane on this year's lucky bag symbolizes longevity, good luck. We hope the surprises inside make your 2020 a little more lucky. That's nice. Well, it says it's recording, so now I'm kind of like, what if it's not recording and then I'm doing all this so this is just like this nice paper and then there's the this is what they usually have like this black tissue paper oh my gosh I'm so excited so in this small lucky bag I'm gonna have to put this down and then bring the products up I believe there's another um, wad of black tissue paper, but I don't think there's any more products in that. So this is basically what I believe is the essence of the small lucky bag. Now, I don't know if how many variations there are in these, um, but I picked mine because they wanted a skin tone and I picked light to medium for this skin tone. Oh my goodness. Let me open it. Hmm, interesting. You know, I'm gonna have to I was okay, never mind. I was gonna go get scissors. I'm trying not to cut in my videos. Oh, okay, so it was like a it's like a, uh, a pouch now, so. Is everybody else eager 
to see what's in it. Okay, so I will go one product at a time. So what we have here is point or 50 milliliters or 1.7 flu fluid ounce of good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer well i like that i really love that it's silicone free because i don't like a bunch of silicones on my skin and it's a priming moisturizer so it's a moisturizer gently massage onto cleansed skin when using sunscreen let priming moisturizer fully absorb before applying suitable for daily use this formula is free from silicones, mineral oils, oils, fragrances, alcohols, or PEGs. So there's that. And I guess I'll open it up if I can. Sometimes I have a hard time opening things up. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. 1.7 ounces. That's pretty... Pretty big. Okay, I'm gonna might as well just test everything out, huh? Okay. And it, wait, it does say it didn't have any fragrance. Oh, it feels really nice. You know, sometimes things feel really good on my on my skin, on my hand, but then when I put them on my face, I don't like how they feel. But wow, this it feels. Oh, my, my, it feels like a moisturizer. My hand really needed moisture. It's just dying. So, yay. I'm glad. Okay, at first when I saw the word primer, because I don't, I haven't had really good luck with primers, I was a little bit disappointed. But putting that on and that it doesn't have silicone, that makes me really happy. So, product number one. Yay. Thank you, Beauty Lush. Okay, number two, Pharmacy Bright On Masked Massage Activated Vitamin C Mask with Echinacea Green Envy. Activated with, I can't pronounce it, some type of acid. And this is 50 milliliters or 1.7 flow ounces, just like the other one. Okay, let's see, what does it say? It's not tested on animals. It, it just, it doesn't have all the bad things. It's a long list. Anyway, um, let me put on my glasses. It'll make me look a little smarter, I guess. A vitamin C clay mask that instantly brightens and helps detox skin by removing buildup and impurities to visibly improve the appearance of skin and tone. Reap the benefits. This mineral rich clay removes excess oil and impurities to vi visibly diminish the appearance of pores. While a blend of fruit divide AHAs and vitamin C brightens and clarifies. As you massage into skin, the lavender mask turns green. Ooh, how cool. I'm easily amused again. As vitamin C capsules are activated to instantly bring out your brightest, most perfect skin. Apply a generous amount evenly to clean skin, massage, and circular motions until color transformation has occurred. Leave on 5 to 10 minutes. Depending on skin sensitivity, rinse with water to remove. Maybe apply 2 to 3 times a week. So I'm not going to read the rest. Of. We'll be here all day because it looks like the video is already long. Oh, look at how pretty. Look at how it goes. Well, that's the mask, huh? It goes from blue, uh, purple to green, right? Isn't that what I just read? Sometimes I can read things or say things and I instantly forget what I said. Yeah, it turns green, hence. Yeah, okay. Should we try it? Okay, I gotta smell it. It smells very botanical. Oh, it's, yes, it's a very pale, um, a pale purple. I guess I'm wearing the box. Okay, so I'll show you. Here we go. Come on. Where's the green? Oh, look at that. 
it is turning it look it's hard to tell it's okay maybe if i turn the lights down a little bit can you see it still looks purple to me on the camera but it's it's a very pale green it, it is green it when i look at my hand it looks more green but when i look at the camera it looks more um Okay, where am I going to wipe my hand off? Luckily I have a towel down here. Let me scoot this over here. Okay. Yes, it smells very natural. Natural, herbal, botanical. It smells good. Okay, that was product number two. That looks... That looks really good. It reminds me of the Alginus. I have an Alginus mask and it turns... What color does it turn? Oh, it's... It's green and it turns like a pink color. But I really... I like the Alginus mask. Okay, what are we going to do with this one? What? <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at what I got. Okay, now this, this is a true rea reaction. I am... Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't even know how much this is, but they gave me a Sonia G brush. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to buy one of these. Um, like there's, I got the pro set. So there's like one, two and three after the pro set and I don't have any of them. So this is the builder three. Oh my gosh. Okay. So far, this lucky bag has really made me happy. Yay! I'm really... This is beautiful. Anyway, I, I just love these ones. Okay. So, yay! Okay, that was number three. That was tucked in. So, wait, let me count and tell you how many items. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, there's six items. Okay, here's item number four. Faux fur brush roll black. Um, I have I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. It tells you how to I don't know what it's for. Oh look at that! Okay, that's handy. It's it's a um it's a makeup um brush bag. Let me put the little brush in here. Look at that. So that's what I think. Yeah, it says faux. So this is, this looks like faux leather. And then inside faux leather. And then this is faux fur. Like, oh, it's really soft. So, so that's cool. So then you just, does it have a magnet? Yeah, it has, it has this part here is a magnet. You fold, let me show you where the brush is, hold that down, over, and then it holds together with the magnet. So that's item number four. That was really, really fun. Okay, so we got item number five. I got a Viseart palette, and this is in the Rose Edit. I don't have this one. I only have, um, it's like an orange one. It's the Petite. I don't know, this is not the Petite Pro. I don't think this is the Petite Pro. I got the Petite Pro. It doesn't say that. So, I don't remember what number mine is. So, let's look at the... Hmm, well, you know, I don't know. It kind of looks like the same size. I can't remember. So there's that. And then it says Busy Art. And then it has a little tab. This is held by magnets. And... Yeah, this one looks bigger. I think... the uh, I think the Petite Pro just has two lines. This has three, so this is... 12 
me see, can I take this off so you can see the colors better? That's really nice. I like it. It has a lot of neutral colors that I would wear. And then this splash of purple and, I don't know, fuchsia. So it has a lot of good colors there. So this is good. I'm glad that I didn't get something that I already have. So that's really nice. Yay. Okay. So that was number five. Okay, number six. Number six, we have some issues with number six. But number six is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. And this is the this is a full size. Now I believe this is the same powder that I got and um, from my experience, I didn't have it very long. I got the small, like, sample. I mean, it's not a sample size. It's just more like a trial size, and I think it was like $20. So when I first, when you first use it, it feels like, um, it's really weird. It's a powder, but it feels, when you put it on, it feels like it's wet. It feels like there's water on your skin, but what I noticed after a while, I didn't notice that sensation anymore. And so I don't believe I'm going to open it up. I don't know. Maybe I will. Well, it, it probably has a little sticker in there so I could show you. So can you see it? Okay, I'm showing you everything around. <laughs> everything in my room because it's reflective. Okay, look at the bottom of it. So, so I'm not going to open this. You know, I don't, you know, I may give do a giveaway with some of these items. So I'm not going to open that. I'll just set it aside and decide if I do a giveaway. And maybe it'll work for somebody else. But it's, I believe it's translucent. I'm trying to, yeah, an ultra translucent refresh re refreshing powder that dusts on like a mist and sets makeup to ex help extend wet wear. Formulated with 50% water. It's in the beginning, it, if it, you know, before it dries out, it's really nice. It's very unusual because it's a powder, but it's like, how does a powder feel wet? It feels really nice in the beginning, but I Googled it. Other people had the same issue with the powder drying out, so. Well, so I think this is the, would be the only product that I'm not too enthused about because I'm pretty sure it's going to dry out. Um, so that one, I don't know. But on this, let me know if you anybody would be interested in having this in a giveaway. Because I wanted to do a giveaway if I reached a thousand subscribers, like a really like a really big giveaway. So, would anybody be interested in this eyeshadow palette and this Becca powder? So let me know. I may put this in there. I don't know, or I may keep it. The only reason, I mean, this is really cute, and if I w went somewhere, I would do this, but I just, I don't go anywhere. I don't really go on vacations or anything, so I don't know if I would really use that. But it's really cute. I'll think about it, but the, the Sonia G brush is awesome. I'm definitely going to keep that. That's just, I'm really happy with that. So... What do you guys think? And then I'll just show you these ones again. The Good Molecules and this. I think I'm going to keep these. These are pretty interesting. So that was, let me tell you. that. So that was $75, but, and I got, I had, you have to get on pre-order because the bags sell out really quick. And 
so I, I think it was, was it after Christmas? I think it was after Christmas. Somehow I saw it and then maybe I got an email. So I got it, I pre-ordered it right away, which means I paid for it, but I don't know if they charged my credit card until they shipped it. So it was $75, but then um, there was $10 for the shipping. So I don't remember if they, because that's like special shipping. So I don't know if they force you to buy like quicker shipping or not. So I don't know. But anyway, that's how I ended up, it ended up being $90 with the shipping and tax. So... That was the 2020 bag from Beautylish. And I'm going to keep this. Look at this. I'm going to keep this. This is really nice, this paper. It's very pretty. So it's folded. You could actually use it. You could wrap another present with it. It's so pretty. Or you could do like an art project because I like to do more. Uh, mixed media paintings, but I just don't have time to do everything. But this would be really pretty, like cutting some of this out and putting it on a mixed media print. So I'm going to save that, and I was going to say some other stuff. It's already been about 20 minutes, so what was I going to say? Ah, oh, totally forgot. Hmm. But I guess the main point was the, the lucky bag. Um, oh, I got my T3 curling iron. And I, well, I have a number of items that I want to do videos on. I just haven't had a chance. But I just got my T3 curling iron yesterday, and I'm really excited about it. And if you're interested in seeing a video on that, I can do a video on that, which... I hope you are, but I think I'm probably going to do that anyway. Um, so, yeah. Do you guys have any questions or comments? Just let me know. I'm dying here. Like, I'm really hot. <laughs> uh, it's not really that hot here, but I'm. it's actually cold outside. It's probably like 40 or 50 degrees. But I'm inside. What's the temperature in here? Well, I, it says 64. Maybe it's 64 outside. But I get really hot sometimes when I drink coffee. So, yeah, that was my lucky bag. I'm glad I had to. I got to experience it. Like I said, I don't. I don't know if I do that every year. Um, I could say a comment on subscription services because I tried Sephora Play that was like $10 a month and you get like small items they're more like trial size and then I tried Ipsy and I tried one other one what was it I can't remember the name of the other one but they were about like $10 a month and then that starts to add up and I'd rather have that money to put into products that I really like, I mean, it's kind of fun like this for this lucky bag to get surprise products and they did put some good products in here But in the subscription services, they're like smaller and it just encourages you to spend more money and like I Don't want to encourage people to spend a lot of money or be into consumerism and materialism that's not what I want to do. I want to try to show products that I like and maybe save you money somehow if you decide you didn't want a product. And But I definitely don't want to encourage people to go into debt in order to buy makeup or to keep up with the Jones, Jones, Joneses or the Kardashians. Um, you know what I was thinking the other, or well it was just today, a lot of the Kardashians, their name starts with a K or a C, like the K sound, like Kim, Kylie, Caitlyn. Isn't that weird? Am I, am I missing somebody? I think I am. But anyway, there's a lot of K, K sounds. I don't know. Random, th <laughs> random thought of the day. I just thought that was weird. So, 24 minutes. 
and counting. So what are you guys going to do this week? So this is actually Martin Luther King Jr. Um, holiday weekend because that's going to be on Monday and Bethany's out of school. So I am so glad we have a three-day weekend. Like she was in school for three days and then it's like we have a three-day break. So it's that's a good way to get back into the new year and then the upcoming appointments that we have is Chloe. If you don't know, Chloe's my dog. She's a Shih Tzu. She's going to get a haircut and well I'm not going to get a haircut but I'm going to get my roots touched up um, next Friday. So random information. Don't know if you are interested in that but it's just like current events. That's my current events and I am going to have, let's see, I had some palette videos. That one, Tom Ford, Golden Mink, I haven't done one on that. The Daydream palette, Tom Ford, I haven't done that. Are you guys interested in, in more Tom Ford? I've done a lot of Tom Ford. You might be tired of that. Wait, there was another one. Mark The Mark Jacobs um, palette, that was white. I forget what that one was called. That one... And I have a ColourPop palette, which is an inexpensive brand. It's um, Going Coconuts. I could do that one. So, okay, so now I remember after all this rambling, um, some like channel announcements. So, like overall, I wanted to focus on luxury beauty, but my luxury beauty does have a limit because like there's really cheap to extremely expensive and so I think I'm gonna not be in the extremely expensive and definitely not be in the cheap I think between the middle middle to you know in between the middle ground to extremely expensive somewhere over here I don't know if that makes sense but that that was my channel goal because I'm more interested in higher end products, but that's not to say I won't do a less expensive product because like I did ColourPop, I did some drugstore makeup, but to be honest, I'm not really, don't really like the drugstore makeup. I am interested in certain items from Target that you can find at Target. I don't know if everybody has a Target in their area. So maybe I'll do like some makeup from Target. And anyway, so I guess I'll wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm not going to edit it again. See how that goes. Some of you liked it. And maybe I'll try to put some time stamps, stamps in there. But I think I got the lucky bag out of the way, though I rambled kind of a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Be sure and hit the bell button to be reminded of new videos. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. And I would like to, if you could put in, you know, what are your interests as far as makeup and skincare? And I'll see what I can do um, to accommodate that. Thank you and I'll see you later.